Um, okay. Hi, um, if you guys don't already know who I am, I'm Courtney, and you're here to do yoga, I assume. You could be here for other reasons, but I'm gonna assume we're doing yoga. Um, so yeah, it's been a while, but it's time to start recording classes and putting them back up. So today we're going to start with the class that I taught on March 12th in Cocoa Beach at the um, Beach Yoga with Roxy. And so for those of you who are there, it's going to be not exactly the same experience because A, we're not on the beach, B, we're not there with 200 other yogis in the community. Um, but beyond that, there might be some things that are slightly different. So each class is a little bit different unless it's recorded and you're playing back the exact same thing. So the majority of it, the gist of it will be the same. And for those of you who weren't there, well, it just won't make a difference to you. You're just going to enjoy it for what it is. So, um, on that note, let's go ahead and everybody's going to start in child's pose. And so to get into child's pose, I want you to come to your hands and knees first. And then I want you to bring your big toes together and bring your knees wide, um, as wide as the mat or just a little bit wider than your hips. And you're gonna sit back on your heels and you're gonna slowly let your forehead come towards the mat so you can rest completely. Now, if that is not appropriate for your knees, just know that you can lie on your back and hug your knees to your chest. You're still gonna get those benefits of letting the back lengthen out and just quieting yourself for a moment. So in child's pose, breathe. Inhale and exhale. And as you're inhaling and exhaling, I want you to practice lengthening the breath. So the inhale gets a little bit longer. The exhale gets a little bit longer. Do a few more breaths here. And then you're gonna take one more big inhale. Exhale it all out. And then from your child's pose, I want you to stay in the position, but I want you to look up and you're gonna walk both hands over to the left off the mat. You're gonna keep looking up and you're gonna just come up onto your fingertips and look towards your hands. And then maybe walk your right hand a little bit beyond the left hand, just to get a little extra side body stretch through the right side. If it feels good to let your head hang, go for it. Do what feels right. And then we're gonna walk back through center, find our length in the center. And then once you start to walk over off the right hand side, so same thing, we're on our fingertips and we're gonna just walk the left hand a little bit past the right hand. And get that bigger left side body stretch. Good. And then go ahead and walk the hands back to center once more. You can go ahead and let your forehead come to the mat for a moment. Let the shoulders slide away from the ears. Take a big inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit heavier. And then you're slowly gonna come up to your hands and knees in a tabletop position. So for your tabletop position, you wanna look shoulders over elbows over wrists, hips above the knees and ankles directly behind the knees. And your spine's gonna be neutral. So neutral isn't curved like this. Neutral isn't dropping the belly like that. Neutral's sort of exactly where it is in the middle. Neutral, quite a definition there. All right, I want the shoulders moving away from your ears. And then as you inhale, I want you to drop your belly, lift your tailbone, lift your chin, shoulders away from the ears. And then as you exhale, tuck the tailbone, push the mat away, chin towards the chest. Good. Again, we're going to inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin. Exhale, push the mat away. Let's do that again. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chin, lift the seat bones. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, belly, chin, push the mat away. And go ahead and resume normal breathing, but I want you to come up onto your fingertips again. And then you're gonna keep your hips directly above your knees as you walk those fingertips back a little bit closer to your knees and push into a high arch as you possibly can. Really tuck your chin towards your chest. Feel a stretch between the shoulder blades and behind the neck, maybe even the lower back. And then go ahead and relax. Good. And then from here, I want you to extend your right leg behind you and extend your left arm in front of you. So first I want you to find your steady because this is sort of an unbalanced position. So find your steadiness. 
Look forward at that left hand. Get as long as you can from your fingertips to your right toes. Big breath. Exhale, tuck the knee and elbow together. Push the mat away. Good, inhale, look forward, lengthen. Left arm reaches, right leg reaches. Exhale, tuck. Good, again, inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck, tuck, tuck. Good, and then we're gonna inhale, reach once more. Keep the right leg up, bring the left hand down. Tap the right toes, keeping the right leg straight and then roll to put your weight on your left hand, your left knee, and reach your right arm up towards the sky. So this is a modified side plank. If you like traditional side plank, you can go ahead and come off that left knee. Otherwise, stay here, left shoulder in the socket, and then reach your right arm forward so you get a big stretch through the right side body. Ooh, and mess with your balance. It's probably more fun on the sand trying to play with balance. Good, and then look down at your left hand, bring Right hand down, bring right knee down. Let's do one cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the seat bones, lift the chin. Exhale, push, push, push them out of way, chin towards the chest. Good, I'm gonna turn around and then come back to neutral. This time we're gonna go ahead and extend that left leg behind us and the right arm before us. So take that moment, get your stability, and then look forward to the right hand. Inhale, get long. Exhale, tuck, tuck, tuck. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tuck, 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 tuck. We're going to reach again. Keep the left leg lifted. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Tap the left toes down to the ground. And then roll onto the right knee, the right hand, and reach the right arm up towards the sky. So we have a nice straight left leg balancing on the right side of our body. And then if you feel good and steady, you can reach that left arm forward. Get a really big side body stretch here. Beautiful. Excellent. And then look down at your right hand. You're going to bring that left hand down to meet it. Bring the left knee down to the mat. And then I want you to walk your hands slightly forward of your shoulders. Curl your toes under and press your hips up and back into down dog. And so go ahead, don't worry about straight legs. You can go ahead and bend the knees. You can bend both of them at the same time. Or if it feels good, just twist side to side. Even perfectly still is fine. Just kind of start to find your own routine on what feels good when you first get into this posture. You're just kind of checking in with yourself. And so really take stock of where you are today and how you feel. Good. And then we're gonna inhale. We're gonna reach the right leg up to the sky. Get nice and long here. And then as you exhale, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to bring that right foot forward and you're gonna come into a lunge. And I just want you to look forward here. So drop the hips, push the heel back. Good, open up the chest, shoulders away from the ears. And then look down, you're gonna plant those hands, step that right foot back to meet the left. Find your down dog. And then we're gonna do the opposite side. Inhale, reach the left leg up. Good, and then exhale, step that left foot forward, stand the ball of the right foot, drop the hips, roll the shoulders back, lunge on the opposite side. So really think about pushing the right heel back and the left knee forward. Good, and look down at the hands, you're gonna step that left foot back, one, two, three, or 10 steps, whatever it takes. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, I want you to walk your feet towards your hands at the front of the mat, and then just hang here in a forward folding bend. Good, and so knees can be bent. Don't worry, don't, get, don't adhere to this like straight leg stuff. We're not worried about a straight leg. We're more worried about a straight spine or a long spine. And so just hang here if you wanna sway side to side, if you wanna grab opposite elbows, if you wanna stay still, whatever it is. Again, find those little things that feel right in your body. And then go ahead and release your arms if you're holding opposite elbows and bend your knees so much that your torso completely rests on your thighs. I want you to let your head drop and you're gonna reach your arms around behind you to grab opposite elbows. So you're wrapping your arms around the legs to grab opposite elbows. Don't worry about how high or low you are. Just find that wrap, let the head drop, feel that length. And then you're gonna to start to lift your seat bones and let the crown of the head keep moving towards the toes. So don't jam the knees back to straighten the legs. It's lifting the seat bones and dropping the head. 
And if things start to tremble, perfect. That's what we're looking for. We wanna let things to get fired up and warm. We're warming up. Good, and then go ahead and relax. Bend the knees, let the arms hang. And then you're just gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time. Nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back. Good. All right. So for Beach Yoga with Roxy people, you guys know the story. For the people who didn't have the privilege of the story, you guys are going to get it. <laughs> so I'm looking forward at you. You're going to be looking wherever you need to look. But everybody's going to bring their feet about hip width distance apart. And I want you to bend the knees, sink the hips back. And you want to keep your knees in line with your toes and you're going to reach your arms up and forward okay so now your biceps are going to come back by your ears if you're having trouble getting them there just has tight shoulders and chest just bring the arms wider and that's going to give you a little bit more room to move but keep the shoulders back keep opening up the chest and keep sitting back this posture is called angry bear and the bear is angry because he's wearing a fur coat in florida on the beach and he's hot and it's miserable so, angry bear. How are your thighs feeling? Take a big breath in. Exhale, fold forward, let it go. You can shake it out. You can do whatever you need and stay still. So, after angry comes angrier. Well, how does the bear get angrier? I will show you. Bend the knees, sink the hips. Arms up. Angry bear. Fur coat, Florida. It's hot. It sucks. Angrier bear. Up on the tippy toes come up onto the balls of your feet don't straighten the legs angrier bear is now walking through all the sand burrs on the beach and they're sticking his toes and his paws and it hurts so he's hot fur coat sand burrs tippy toe if you want to tippy toe with me go ahead and tippy toe all right keep sinking into it don't straighten those legs if things are shaking if things are burning that's perfect we're warming up take a big breath in exhale drop the heels full forward let it go Again, if you want to sway it out or whatever it is you need to do, or you can stay still, but let that head hang nice and heavy. So angry bear, angrier bear, the angriest bear of all. Bend the knees, sink the hips, arms up. Angry bear, hot sun fur coat. Angrier bear, tippy toes, sand burrs, sticking his paws. Angriest bear of all, pull the arms back. Pelican on his back, pecking his head. Keep pulling those shoulder blades back together to puff out the chest. Keep sinking into the squat. I know this looks awkward and it probably doesn't feel great, but you're getting warm. So stay with it. Let it shake. You can see my legs shaking. You've got this. Take a big breath. Exhale, fold forward. Let it go. Perfect. So good. And then you're going to put that little bend in the knees again. You're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back when you get to the top. Good, and from here, you're gonna inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And when you get here, I want you to have the shoulders sliding down your back so you're not hunching your shoulders. And so I'm turning forward so you can see me. From here, I want you to go ahead and grab your right wrist with your left hand and draw yourself over to the left hand side. So you're getting a big side body stretch and try not to pop out your right hip Try to keep the hips level in all four corners of the feet evenly on the mat. Then inhale back up through center. Right hand grabs left wrist. Same thing, opposite side. Ground evenly through the feet and resist the urge to pop out that left hip. Don't worry about it being the biggest reach over. Just find length. Always length. Good. Inhale. Arms come back up to center. As we exhale, I want you to pull your elbows back as if you were going to touch them behind you. Puff out the chest. A little bit of a back bend here. Option to look up or forward, depending upon what's right for your neck. Good. And then inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, you can swan dive or pray down into a forward folding bend. So hinging at the hips, find the forward folding bend. And hands can be on the mat. You can bend your knees, have a nice long spine, or they can come onto your shin if that's appropriate for you. Inhale, look forward, come up halfway. And as you exhale, I want you to step your right foot back and come into a lunge. So we were here earlier. We're just gonna change it a little bit though. Tap your right knee down to the mat and then drop the hips. Inhale, look forward. 
Now, as you exhale, I want you to start to straighten both legs. It doesn't matter if they don't go perfectly straight, but we're gonna straighten the left leg too. So the right knee's off, and we're gonna fold over that front left leg. So again, if that left knee's bent, that's fine. Find the length through the spine first, and then bend the knee, tap down again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten, fold. Tap the knee, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten, fold. Good, and then look at your left foot, look forward. You're gonna step your right foot forward to meet the left. So it could be one step, three steps, 10 steps, whatever you need, but both feet are meeting at the top of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway, hands come to the shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, pull the belly button in as you bend. And then inhale, reverse swan dive, all the way up, 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 hands meet. Exhale, draw through heart center. We got another side. Here we go. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, swan dive or pray down, hinging at the hips, forward folding bend. Inhale, look forward, get long in the spine. Exhale, this time step the left knee back, find that lunge, and then bring that left knee all the way down to the mat. So when that left knee comes down, you're gonna drop the hips down and you're gonna look forward. Now, if your heel's coming off the mat, and if you're like this, it's fine, it's not the end of the world, but if you try bringing that ankle in line with the knee, you're gonna get a little bit more of a stretch. Good, and then straighten the leg, fold over the front right leg, and then bend the knee, tap, and heel it forward. Exhale, straighten. Let's do it again, bend the knee, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold over the right leg. Good, and you can relax that right knee a little bit as you step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, hands on the shins, come up halfway. Exhale, belly button in as you bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up, 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 hands meet. Exhale, draw through heart center. Let's try it again. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, dive down or pray down, forward folding bend. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the right foot back and then tap that right knee down to the mat, drop into the lunge. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Bend the knee, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. One more time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Now your back right foot this time is gonna turn flat. You're going to bring your left hand to your left shin and you're gonna reach your right arm up towards the sky. So I'm gonna turn so you guys can see. So we're coming into triangle pose and don't worry about the hand being all the way down yet, especially if your chest is tilting forward, bring that hand to the shin, reach the right arm up and get nice and long. And then if you want a little bit more, you can reach the right arm forward, bringing that bicep by the ear. And again, visit yourself where you are right now, not where you think you're supposed to be. Good, and then look down at the mat. You're gonna bend the left knee, bring both hands forward, step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, come up halfway, hands on the shins. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Exhale, draw through heart center. I'm going to move to this side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive or pray down, forward folding bend. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the left leg back. Bring the left knee down to the mat, drop the hips, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Tap the left knee down, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Tap the left knee down, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten and fold. Now this time we're gonna turn that left foot flat. Bring your right hand to your shin. Start to reach the left arm up towards the sky. So you are welcome to bring the hand down to the mat. The second that chest comes forward and the booty goes back, 
slide that hand back up the thigh. It just means your body is not wanting or ready to go that far yet. If you like it and it feels good, reach the left arm forward, get a little bit of extra side body stretch. Nice. Then look down at your right foot. You can bend that knee, bring both hands down to the mat. You're gonna find that lunge. You're gonna step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, hands on the shins, come up halfway. Exhale, slide down, forward folding bend. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come up, up, up. Exhale, draw the hands through heart center. Let's keep building. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, swan dive or pray down, forward folding bend. Inhale, look forward and lengthen. Exhale, step the right foot back, tap the right knee down. Find the lunge, really drop the hips. Look forward. Exhale, straighten. Tap the knee, look forward. Exhale, straighten. Now you're gonna turn the right foot flat. Bring the left hand to the left shin. Reach the right arm up. Turning so you guys can see. So we have our triangle pose. The top right arm is always going to reach towards the sky. And you're gonna see what I mean in a minute because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So you're going to start to inhale and reach towards the sky, slide that left hand up. And then exhale, slide down. That's it. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach, right arm keeps reaching. Exhale, slide down. One more time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, slide down. Good, look forward at that left foot. You can bend the left knee, bring both hands down. You're gonna turn onto your right toes and push that right foot forward to meet the left. Good, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up. Exhale, draw hands through heart center. Other side, inhale, reach. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the left foot back, tap the left knee down, drop the hips, look forward. Open up the chest, shoulders roll back. And then straighten the right leg and fold. Tap the left knee down again. Straighten the leg and fold. Turn your back left foot flat. Right hand comes to the right shin. Left arm reaches for the sky. I'm turning. You stay where you are. <laughs> Good. Left hand reaches. Remember that left hand's always going to reach for the sky. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Good. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Don't worry about the deepest triangle. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down into triangle. Look at your right toes. Bend that right knee. Both hands come down. Turn onto the ball with the left foot. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, hands on the shins. Long spine coming up halfway. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive, come all the way up, up, up. Exhale, hands meet through heart center. Let's keep building. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive down or pray down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step the right foot back, tap the right knee down, find your lunge. Look forward and then straighten both legs. One more time, tap. Straighten both legs. Turn the back foot flat. Left hand to the left shin. Right arm reaches for the sky. Let's slide our triangle up. Inhale, nice and easy, nothing quick. Exhale, slide. Very controlled, quiet movement. Inhale, up. Exhale, slide. Inhale up, exhale, slide and hold. This time we're going to look down at our left foot. We're gonna put a little bend in the knees and start to bring both hands down to the mat, come onto the ball of the right foot, staying here, 
start to press into that left foot to bring your torso up to come up into a lunge, a high lunge. And you just bring your hands to your hips. And so just kind of play with it. If you're straight in the leg, does that push your chest forward? Or can you bend that right knee and pull your ribs above your chest? And if it feels good, and if you want to, you can reach your arms up and overhead. Just play with the balance here. Good. Big breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Right foot steps forward to meet the left. Forward folding bend. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, slide down and out. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, draw through heart center. Let's go again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive and fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, left foot steps back. Left knee comes down to the mat. Good, drop your hips, look forward. Straighten and fold. Drop the left knee, sink into the lunge. Exhale, straighten and fold. Back left foot turns flat, right hand comes to the right shin, left arm reaches, you stay where you are. I'm turning, we're gonna slide our triangle. So inhale, slide up, exhale and down. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, slide. Look at the right foot. Put a slight bend in the knees. Both hands come down to the mat as we come onto the ball of the left foot. We have our feet on two different railroad tracks. So right foot is on right, right railroad track. Left foot is on the left railroad track. Press into the right foot to come up to a lunge. Hands can be on the hips. And again, do you want to have that back leg straight or do you want to bend it? Find where you can keep the ribs in line with the hips. And if you want, you can reach the arms up and overhead. If you feel steadier with hands on the hips, just stay with the hands on the hips. Find your steady. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. Big breath in. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. You're gonna step that left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up, up, up. Exhale, draw to your heart center. We're gonna do our last round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pray or swan dive down. Inhale, come up halfway looking forward. Exhale, step the right foot back, tap the right knee down to the mat, and drop into the lunge, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left leg and fold over it, or straighten ish. Tap the knee down, look forward, drop the hips. Exhale, straighten. Turn the back right foot flat, left hand to left shin, right arm reaches for the sky. Extend the crown of the head away from the tailbone. Here we go, inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Una más. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Bend the left knee, look forward. Both hands come down to the mat. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Find your lunge. Left foot on left railroad track, right foot on right railroad track for stability. Press into the left foot as we come up into our lunge. Good. Everybody is gonna bend the right knee. So left knee's bent, right knee's bent. And you are going to come upright. Good. Reach the arms up and overhead. Here's where we're gonna build on it. You're gonna inhale, pull the elbows back, puff out the chest, straighten the right leg. All right, and then as you exhale, you're gonna bend your right knee, you're gonna curl your ribs and hips together and reach forward. So that doesn't mean your torso comes forward over your left thigh, you're keeping your torso where it is, but crunching the ribs and the hips together and reach. Staying here, inhale, straighten the right leg, puff, Exhale, bend and reach. Inhale, puff out the chest, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend and reach. Keep the right knee bent. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands come down. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. 
Inhale, coming up halfway, hands on shins, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, bow. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands come through heart center. I'm switching sides so you can see, you stay where you are. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, pray or swan dive down. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, tap that left foot back. Tap the left knee to the mat. Find the lunge. Looking forward, big breath. Exhale, straighten and fold. Tap the knee. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, straighten and fold. Turn the back left foot flat. Right hand to right shin. Reach the left arm up, find triangle. Crown of the head moves away from the tailbone. Get nice and long on the right hand side. And then start to inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Let's go again. Inhale, slide up. Keep reaching for the sky. Exhale, slide down. And again, inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. I'm going to look down. Bend that right knee. Bring both hands down. Turn onto the ball of the left foot. Find your railroad tracks. Right foot, right railroad track. Left foot, left railroad track. Press into the right foot. Come up into a lunge. Bend that back knee. Arms up and overhead and reach. Both knees are bent. I know the thighs are burning, that's kind of the point. Go ahead and inhale, pull the elbows back, puff out the chest, straighten the left leg. Exhale, crunch the ribs and hips together, reach the arms forward. Don't let that torso come out over the right thigh. Inhale, puff out the chest, push back the leg. Exhale, crunch. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Keep that left knee bent. Reach the arms up and overhead. Big breath in. Hands come down. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, come up all the way. Exhale, draw the hands through heart center. What do you think? You got one more in you? Yes, no? Okay. Student doesn't want to be on camera. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go again. Last one. We're going to do it through. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, swan dive or pray down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step that right foot back. Right knee comes down to the mat. Drop into the lunge. And then straighten and fold. Tap the knee down. Nice, slow, controlled movement. Straighten and fold. Turn the back right foot flat, left hand to left shin, triangle. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Look down that left foot. Bend the knee, bring both hands. Come to the ball of the right foot. Find your railroad tracks, step into the left foot as you come up, bend the right knee. Left knee and right knee bend. Inhale, pull the elbows back, straighten the right leg. Exhale, curl and crunch. Inhale, pull it open. Exhale, curl and crunch. One more time, inhale, curl and open. Exhale, crunch. Knee stays bent, reach the arms up, big breath in. Exhale, hands come down. Step the right foot forward to meet the left. Inhale, come up halfway, hands on shins. Exhale, pull the belly button in as you bow. Inhale, slide all the way up, 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 reach for the sky. Draw the hands through heart center. I'm switching sides, you stay where you are. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive or pray. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, tap the left foot back, tap the left knee to the mat, drop into the lunge. Exhale, straighten and fold. Inhale, tap the knee. Exhale, straighten and fold. Left foot turns flat, right hand to right shin. Reach the left arm up, get nice and long. And then inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. Inhale, slide up. Exhale, slide down. 
Look down at your right foot, bend that knee, bring the hands down, find your lunge, and then press into the right foot to come all the way up into lunge and bend that left knee. Arms reach for the sky. Inhale, elbows pull back, left leg straightens. Exhale, curl and crunch. Inhale, pull back, open the sails. Exhale, curl and crunch. Last one, inhale. Doo -doo -doo. Exhale, curl, keep the knee bent. Inhale, reach the arms up for the sky. Exhale, hands come down. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Hands meet. Exhale, draw through heart center. Let's go. Inhale, I'm gonna stay on the side. You guys stay where you are. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, look forward. And then I want you to go ahead and step back with your right foot. I'm gonna step, you stay there. You step back with your right foot. Everybody steps back with the right foot. And we're gonna to start to walk our hands towards the right side of the mat and we're gonna stop in the middle with our feet parallel, okay? Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, bow. And then go ahead and bring your hands to your hips and I want you to just kind of roll up with a slight bend to the knees, one vertebrae at a time. All right, adjust the pants if the pants need adjusting. Do what you need to do. So everybody's got wide legs here and I want the feet parallel or pigeon toed. I don't want heels and toes out. We can do that another time, but for what we're about to do, feet are parallel or even the toes and heels out. Hands are on the hips. We're gonna do the Prasarita Padottanasana series. What's that, you ask? I will show you. Five-legged forward bend. Roll the shoulders back, inhale, look up. Exhale, hinge of the hips, lead out with the chin and the chest. Keep going, keep going. We're just going back to where we came from. You're gonna let the head drop and you're gonna let the hands come down directly beneath the shoulders. Now take a second here, if you want your feet wider or if you want your feet narrower, take a moment to adjust and then let the head drop. So your head might wanna kinda of reach forward. I want it to drop completely so the crown of the head's dumping all the contents onto the mat. You could put a slight pressure into your hands to help push you a little bit gently into it, but don't ever get aggressive here. This is Prasarita Padottanasana A. Good, inhale, look forward. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Good, roll the shoulders back. We're just gonna go back in. Prasarita Padottanasana B. Inhale, look up. Exhale, lead out with the chin and the chest, hinging with the hips. Find a forward folding bend, but this time I want you to keep your hands on the hips. And I want you to roll your shoulders back as if you were gonna have your elbows touch behind you and let your head drop. Now, you know you're doing it right when it feels like you're just gonna roll forward. You're not, your legs are gonna engage, they're gonna be nice and strong, and your quads are going to engage to keep you from rolling over, which means your hamstrings are gonna release and you're gonna get a really good stretch here. Keep rolling the shoulders back. Good, and then inhale. Exhale, drop a little bit more. And then we're gonna inhale, we're gonna pull ourselves up by our elbows. Good. All right, round three. I'm gonna turn so you guys can see you have choices. You can interlace fingers. You can press your fingertips together. This is a more active version. I like the more active versions because you develop a better range of motion than just passively pulling yourself in. No judgment if you like it, if it feels good. You can grab opposite elbows, or if you really want, you could do reverse prayer. So pick your poison, whatever hand variation you want, and then you're going to Roll the shoulders back, inhale, look up. Keep the, whatever it is, the elbows have grabbed or the hands on your back, on your back, on your body. And then as you exhale, you're gonna fold forward and then you're gonna find your forward folding bend. And then once you get there, then you can think about either pushing the hands together and up and off your tailbone with the shoulders rolling back. Or if you have your elbows, you can think about lifting them off your lower back. It doesn't have to be big movement. And don't make it such a big movement that you drop your shoulders down and forward. You wanna keep rolling the shoulders open. If the breath gets a little bit ragged, it's challenging, it's okay, but just try to keep the breath steady. Good, and then roll the shoulders back. Inhale, pull yourself all the way up. Good, and then release the arms. 
Proserita potitanasana D, also affectionately known as creepy burlesque. Hands, outsides of the thighs. Inhale, look up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, hinge at the hips, lead out with the chin and the chest. Slide the hands down the outsides of the thighs. Burlesque, and then make eye contact with you. Creepy, yes, there we go. And then drop all the way down. So you're gonna grab your shins or the ankles or the outsides of your feet or even your big toes with your peace fingers and thumbs. And then wherever you are, you're gonna inhale, look forward. And then as you exhale, I want you to let your elbows come out and you're gonna drop into this a little bit deeper. Don't tug on yourself and let those elbows stick out because it's gonna be easier for you to slide your shoulders away from your ears when you do that. Good but gently guiding yourself a little bit deeper by pulling yourself is, is acceptable. Good, inhale it forward. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up. Good, turn towards the front of the mat. You're gonna bring your hands down and step back to down dog. Good, if it feels good to kind of walk it out here, go for it. And then you're very slowly gonna start to let your knees come all the way down to the mat but we're gonna do it slowly. Whoever gets there first loses. And I guess somebody's gotta get there first, so I'm gonna let my knees drop and be the loser today. Perfect. <laughs> Good, and then I want you to slide all the way forward onto your belly. Good, so nice and long. You're gonna bring your arms forward. Your pinkies are gonna be touching the ground. Your thumbs are gonna be up and your palms are facing each other. Your forehead comes to the mat. You're gonna reach the right leg up and the left arm up. You can bring your head up off the mat, but resist the urge to throw the chin forward. Lift that left arm and right leg as high as you can go and keep the knee and the toes pointing towards the ground. Don't roll them out. Good, come down and rest. Shake the hips if you need to. And then lift the left leg, right hand, lift. Good, shoulders back, keep reaching, keep lengthening, keep the knee and the toes of the left leg down and then come all the way down shake it out yep we gotta do the whole thing together palms face each other shoulders relax away from the ears inhale lift the arms and the legs get as long as you can here i'm not worried about it being very hot i want length length and lift good take another big breath in exhale release all the way down shake the hips Bring the hands under the shoulders. You're gonna to start to press yourself up and back into child's pose. So if we established at the beginning of class that child's pose is not suitable for your knees, just roll over onto your back and hug your knees to your chest, like so. Otherwise, enjoy child pose. So if you are hugging your knees to your chest, I really want you to think about making your spine very long. Not necessarily having the spine touch the mat, but just having the crown of the head moving away from the tailbone. So from wherever you are, you're gonna slowly start to make your way up to a seated position. Because yes, we're almost done. It always flies. Okay, so legs are gonna be nice and long before you. I'll kind of turn to an angle so you guys can see. Push the heels away, push the legs into the mat and you're nice and tall here. Arms up and overhead. I don't want the biceps to stay by the ears. The biceps are staying by the ears until I tell you that they're not staying by the ears anymore. So take a big breath. And then we're gonna use those abdominals to pull ourselves out and over our legs. Keep pulling, keep those biceps by the ears. Once you find your maximum where you could do it under your own power, then go ahead and let the hands come down to the shins or the ankles. Don't be so fixated on the toes, especially if you're going like this. I'd much rather see a long spine and you reaching out and over, and that's gonna help stretch things out and strengthen things and lengthen and all that good stuff to eventually make your way to your toes without having to compromise the posture or your posture. Okay, take a big breath in. Exhale, round all. Nothing pretty, nothing cool, just flop. I'm gonna start to roll one vertebrae at a time. Bring your hands behind you, shake the legs, good. Right knee bends, so the right foot comes to the inside of the left leg. Now when you do this, I want your hips to remain squared off. 
you're not gonna roll your right hip back and out. Right foot, touch the inside of the left leg. This time I want you to bring your left hand out to the side onto your left fingertips, reach the right arm up, bicep stays by the ear as we rotate out and over the left leg and then eventually let the hand come down, toes, ankle, shin, wherever you're reaching. But you're keeping a subtle rotation of that right rib cage towards the left leg, but you're not turning your head, you're looking at your toes. Now, if you want, you can use that left hand to help create the rotation, or you can bring both hands forward. You have choices. You can have two hands to get in your lap too. Big breath in, look forward. Exhale, rattle. And so just take stock when you're, when you're passive here, how your body pulls and where it pulls. And it's not judgment, it's for you to kind of see what's going on in your body. When we move slower, we have that opportunity to check in with ourselves. We're often moving so quickly, even through a yoga class, that we don't really do that as often as we should. Good, and start to walk the hands back towards the body. You can lean back into your hands, straighten that right leg, take your time with it, give it a shake. Opposite side, left foot. Bends and the left foot is on the inside of the right knee. Remember, we want the hips square. We're not rolling that left hip back and open. Right fingertips come out to the side. Left arm reaches, bicep bicep stays by the ear. You're gonna reach out and over towards the left leg. Keep the bicep there. And then once you found your max, then that hand comes down. Then you can use the right hand to create more rotation or you can reach both hands forward. It's a matter of preference. Just trying to give you as many choices as possible so you can make this practice your practice. I'm just here to guide you through some stuff, but it's all about you. Good. Then big breath in, looking forward, exhale, wrap down. So again, how does your body pull when you're not actively engaged in the posture or trying to pull yourself into the posture? Where does it just naturally fall? We're going to start to walk the hands back towards the body, lean back. You're going to extend that left leg, give it a shake. Oh. All right, one more here, my arch nemesis, the wide-legged forward bend. So you want your legs as wide as you can get where you can still stand up on, your, sit up on your own. If you have to lean into your hands and the second you let your hands go and you go like this, you've gone too far. I want you to be able to sit upright. Feet are flexed, knees and toes pointing towards the sky and we're pressing the legs into the mat. Good, and then just start to walk the hands out, however far you're walking them. I don't walk very far in this posture. <laughs> so this is it, we're just sticking with that. We're just gonna enjoy it right here. Good, keep extending the crown of the head forward and keep on tilting the pelvis forward. So it's not sticking your booty out, it's kind of taking the whole plank of like your head down to your tailbone and tilting that plank forward. All right, so now you're gonna to start to walk the hands towards your right side, reaching both hands towards the leg, but try to keep your opposite hip down. It might wanna kinda of come with you, see if you can keep the hips level on the mat while you're rotating towards your right leg. And then walk back through center. We're just gonna keep going. We're gonna go over to your left side. That's the same thing. Are you bringing that hip over with you or are you going to continue to keep both hips on the mat? And then come back to center. See if you have a little bit more length here than you did a moment ago. And then start to walk the hands back towards you. You can lean back into the hands. Bring them forward, give them a shake. Ooh, nuts. Good. So, my knees are bent. I'm gonna grab my hands underneath my knees because that's gonna help me roll down one vertebrae at a time onto the mat. So if you're coming down and your head's not landing on your mat, just scoot your butt onto it so you can be on the mat completely. Now we're all gonna keep our knees bent and the soles of the feet on the mat. And I want you to bring your heels as close to your body as is suitable for your knees. So everybody's gonna look different on that but I want the feet parallel and I want them hips width apart. So your feet aren't touching, 
but they're not wider than the mat or wider than your hips, and they're parallel. Arms are gonna be at the sides. I want you to start to press into the feet to lift the hips up off the mat. Good, so keep lifting. And you're starting to feel the weight on the back of the head, the neck, and the upper shoulders. Now, if you want, stay here, keep pressing the hips up. You can interlace your fingers underneath you and drive your knuckles towards your heels. You can even slide and shimmy those shoulders under you a little bit more. Good. Staying here, this time I want you to start to bring the feet together, touching towards the middle, and then you're gonna reach your left leg towards the sky. Keep that right hip lifted. Keep the left hip lifted. Keep pushing through the right leg. Left leg comes down, keep the hips up. Same thing, right leg reaches. Don't let those hips drop, stay with it. I know it's challenging. You've got this though. This is just a moment in your life. Good, right foot comes down, keep the hips lifted. Keep them lifted. Um, if the fingers are, are interlaced, undo them. And then let the arms come up and overhead to fall back on the ground behind you. And then you're just gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time, eventually letting the tailbone come to the mat. So take your time with it, there's no rush. Good. You can let your arms relax a little bit and then go ahead and let both knees fall over to the right hand side. Turn your gaze over the left shoulder. If you want a little bit more stretch, you can bring your right foot to rest on top of your left knee. But if that's too much, don't do it. I'm not there with you and I'm not in your body, so you have to trust yourself to do what feels right for you. Good, if that foot's on the ankle, or if that, that ankle is on the knee, sorry, <laughs> go ahead and bring that right foot off. I'm gonna bring the knees back up to center, and then both knees are gonna find their way over to the left-hand side, turn the gaze over the right shoulder. So again, if you want that little extra, that left foot can come on top of the right knee. Unhook the foot, bring both knees back up to center. Give your knees a little hug to your chest here. Lengthen the lower back. And then we're gonna do a little happy baby pose. So I'm gonna turn so you can see better. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach the insides of our knees, our arms, and then over the tops of the feet, we're gonna grab the outsides of our feet. And our ankles are gonna be stacked above our knees and we're gonna pull them down and so if you're feeling a little bit tight or if you just have you know a different range of motion your feet might come together and that's okay but I do want you to reach from the insides to the outsides and I want you to find a long spine so if the feet come together still find a long spine if the feet are wide and stacked over the knees find a long spine always a long spine and if you really like to, you can rock back and forth like a baby in a crib, AKA happy baby pose. Wow, how'd they think of that? Amazing, amazing. Good. And then you're gonna go ahead and relax. You're gonna hug your knees once more. And go ahead and let the soles of the feet come to the mat. Let the legs go long. Let the arms come to your sides. If you have an eye pillow or a towel that you want to use to cover over your eyes and block out the light, go for it. And we're just going to start to scan down our bodies. Starting at the crown of the head. We're going to go get him. Start to relax the eyes. Start to relax the jaw. Let the shoulders fall back as the neck muscles unravel, letting the arms get very heavy. Feel your heart relaxed, your belly calm. Your hip flexors, your glutes, your quadriceps, your hamstrings. Start to feel the knees soften, the 
calves spread out onto the mat as the weight of your body presses into the mat beneath you. And then your ankles relax. You feel it wash under the soles of the feet and over the tops of the feet as you drop into your final and deepest relaxation. Slowly come back into your breath. Slowly come back into your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. And if you want to, you can reach your arms up and overhead. Get that first thing in the morning stretch. And then roll onto your side, bend your knees, rest your head on your arm like a pillow, and just take a quiet moment before we move on. Start to slowly push yourself up to a comfortable seated position, sitting tall, eyes closed, hands can be on the knees, in the lap, or at the heart center in prayer, or on your bulldog if you have one, or your other kind of dog, or your child, who knows. But we're gonna close practice with three breaths for three spirits, which is something that I do a lot just to cope. Um, so if you like it, it's yours, please take it. So, sitting tall, eyes closed, I want you to start by seeing in your mind's eye a person that you love very, very much. Maybe even the person that you love most in this world. So whoever comes to mind first, don't judge it. Just allow that person to come forward. And start to inhale through the nose. Inhale, 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 inhale. Hold the breath at the top. Lower the chin to the chest, sealing in this loving breath. Allowing this true great and deep love to infuse itself into every cell of your body. And then lift the chin, exhale, let it go. So the second breath, the second breath is for the person who you do not love the most in this world. It's the person who has hurt you, has made you feel less than the person that maybe has seen things that you don't want them to see in you, has broken your heart, whoever that person is, as you see them come to your mind's eye, again, start to inhale through the nose, inhale, 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 sip in more and more air, and then hold the breath at the top, lower the chin to chest, sealing in this breath of forgiveness, 
allowing sincere forgiveness to permeate every fiber of who you are. And then lift the chin, exhale, let it go. Good. And then the third and final breath is for you. It is for you as you see yourself in all the good things that you do, the things that you're proud of, the things that you want to share. And it's for you and the things that you're maybe not so proud of, the things you'd rather people not know about you or that you'd rather not share, the things that you would consider maybe your weaknesses or your failures. So all of these victories, all these triumphs, all these challenges, all of this that comprises you, I want to see it in your mind's eye. And again, inhale, 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 inhale. Sip in your biggest breath yet today. And then hold that breath at the top lower the head to heart acknowledging the heart's wisdom and sealing in this breath of acceptance accepting you for all and everything you are as beautiful and perfect as it is all together as well and then lift the chin exhale let go Go ahead and bring your hands to heart center if they're not there already. Lift the chin, lift the sides of the mouth into a smile. Leave the eyes open. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming to class. Thank you so much for allowing Gunnar to assist in Shavasana. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. Bye, puppy. Yeah. Crazy boy. Crazy boy. Yes, it's all about you. It's all about you.